Good morning, my name is Matteo Sodano and today I'm going to present you my work on open world semantic segmentation with class similarity. The standard vision systems tackle a task called closed world semantic segmentation, which basically is pixel-wise categorization of the scene into known classes. Problems with this arise when a novel class, a novel object enters the game and the problem is that closed world approaches fail in recognizing anything that didn't appear at training time, so something that they've never seen before. So we try to overcome this problem and then tackle a task which is called open world semantic segmentation. So the main difference between closed world and open world semantic segmentation is that in closed world all classes are known at training time and we do not expect to see anything new at test time, while in open world we want to find and recognize multiple unknown classes that might appear at test time. So from an approach point of view, standard closed world semantic segmentation approaches rely on a convolutional neural network, which has an encoder-decoder architecture. And the input is the RGB image that we want to segment, the output is the actual semantic segmentation. But then how to adapt this to open world semantic segmentation? Well, we introduced a few models in this work. And the first thing that we did is that we want our semantic segmentation to also provide a unique class descriptor. So a mean feature uh, for each known class. On top of this mean feature, we also want a variance for it. So basically, we're building a Gaussian for each known class. We also introduced a second decoder that tackles the task of anomaly segmentation, which is a slightly simpler task in which each, each pixel is classified as either unknown, so an anomaly, or, uh, or, or known. So the results of these two decoders are put together in order to obtain the final open world semantic segmentation. So now I'm going to give you a bit more details on these two decoders. First, semantic decoder. Semantic decoder uh, aims for semantic segmentation, so it uses the standard cross-entropy loss, which is the gold standard for semantic segmentation. But we pair it with another loss function, which is the feature loss function. This feature loss function uh, basically tries to make the feature f that we predict at a certain pixel p as close as possible to the class descriptor that I mentioned before. So the class descriptor in the formula is indicated by mu, and it's something that together with the standard deviation sigma has been learned at the previous epoch, e minus 1. So basically, at the end, we obtain these Gaussians for each known class that we've seen. What happens then is that at inference time, we have the Gaussians because we have the final mean and the final variance. And given a pixel p and its feature f that has been predicted when deploying the network, we use the squared exponential kernel to compute a fitting score to each class k, so for, for between this pixel and each known class k. Then we take the class, the known class that fits the best, so the maximum score, and we obtain the first unknownness score by doing just one minus. Also, this best fitting score is a measure of class similarity. So it tells us information on which is the most similar known class to the pixel that we're looking at. The contrastive decoder, on the other hand, tackles the task of anomaly segmentation, and it does that by using two loss functions. The first loss function is the objectors field loss function. So this tries to place the norms of the feature belonging of pixels belonging to the known classes on the circle and the norms of the feature of pixels belonging to unknown class at the center, so close to zero. Then the second loss function is the contrastive loss function. This applies only to the known classes and what it does is to just try to spread the norms on the circle. So when used together, these two loss functions end up like something like this, where we have all the known classes around the circle in small clusters and the unknown class at the center close to zero. Uh, the unknownness score coming from the contrastive decoder is just distance based from the center. So the closer we are to the center, the more sure we are that we are looking at an unknown class and vice versa. For the evaluation, we use two data set. Uh, one is Segment Me If You Can, which is a public benchmark with test set images and no ground truth data available. Uh, with this, we um, ranked top one in three out of five metrics on the, on the public benchmark. We also used BDD Anomaly, which is an autonomous driving dataset, achieving state-of-the-art results. And for BDD Anomaly, we also gave the results for class similarity. So for each newly discovered class, we give a measure of which class is most similar to it, which known class is most similar to it. So in conclusion, we propose a novel approach for open world semantic segmentation with a measure of class similarity to known classes. We achieved state-of-the-art results on two challenging datasets. And in here, you can find two QR codes. One is for the paper, which I invite you to check out for uh, further information on the approach, experiments, and considerations, and to the GitHub page, where our code is publicly available. Thank you for your attention.